Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. How you doing? So you want to be a singer? <laughs> Why you want to do that? <laughs> so here I am. Uh, my season starts for, uh, well, tomorrow actually when I, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but right now when I'm um, actually doing it, when I'm actually recording it, um, my season starts tomorrow, so I had to pull out my equipment and stuff from last year and start testing it because I, I have a cordless microphone. You know, I have to take along my own uh, microphone stand, any mic stands, uh, what else? Uh, 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 book stands, like music stands. Uh, you have to have your own cord, you know, that you could put into whatever board that they have. Or So I have the cordless microphone. So I test it one, two, one, check it out. I don't have my um, system right now hooked up to any. Uh, speakers or anything so I really can only hear in my uh, headphones that's why I got the headphones on <laughs> testing one two very superstitious but I'm um, testing it out everything sounds good tomorrow I'm doing the gig out in Connecticut um, but I've been watching American Idol so much and everything and I've just been looking at the way people work with their microphones you know and mic technique is a difficult thing and it's very personal to different people but generally people don't teach you how to use a microphone and you can hold the mic almost any way you want to hold it you know you can you can do all kinds of things with it but the worst thing to do is to hold it like this because then you're going to get distortion because the mic needs to be able you have all these little holes and things in there it needs to be able to breathe you know that your, 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 your vocals need to be able to pass through so if you're holding it like this da -da -da -da, you create distortion sometimes to you it sounds a lot better because you think oh you know it's pumped up and all that different stuff and it's giving you more whatever but Generally, when you do a sound check or whatever, if you need a little more bass, if you need this, if you need the the, 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 um, the volume to be up a little bit, you want to ask for that when you do your sound check. I was just watching Dondria do a sound check um, for her show with Bow Wow. And, and that's what you want to do. So you want to get this everything set. Now, of course, if you don't have time a lot of times to do all that or if you don't have... Uh, a technician there working with you then you know sometimes you just got to get on the mic and do what you do but the thing I want to point out is the most important thing about mic technique is the position of the mic or how far it is from your, your from your voice a lot of times what we'll see is this because this is basically the perfect amount of space between your vocal your lips and the microphone so you generally want to start like you I mean and as you get more used to performing, you get to use you get used to um, having this 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 position, so you don't do this. But a lot of times when you're starting out and you 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 want to find like what's the best way, you want it to be close enough where you're not blowing it up, but you also want to be far enough away so that you're not you're you're not getting every boop 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 everything in the microphone. So you want to have a nice little a nice little amount of space here and what I do is, I, this is how I generally hold my microphone you know I hold it like this most of the time sometimes I might hold it like this but I think that's a little um, I don't know it feels like oh my god I'm gonna drop it so I tend to do like this you know I've seen people cup it you know and they try to be especially rappers and stuff like that this is the worst thing once again this is the worst thing you should not do this um, what else do I need to say there's not a whole lot about Nick Mike technique again now I see a lot of people, you know, you do this, and I do it now and then too. But if you're doing this, especially if you have a sound man, you're not doing the right thing. You should, you should keep this pretty stationary. Sometimes you hit a little bit of note and you want to pull off a little bit, but don't pull off too much because you want the strength going into the microphone. You don't want it, um, you know, going all over the place. You want to. You want to do a lot of what you need to do with your voice. But when you have a good sound person, again, you have a really good sound person, or any sound person really, you should really just be letting them control everything that goes on. So, and that's, that's why I think now a really good thing is they have the head mics. You know, you have to control your own vocals in a head mic. You can't keep pulling it back and pushing it and all that different stuff while you're dancing and stuff. You just have to sing and let the sound person do their job. And a lot of times that's what you need to do. Now, there's a, a little bit of this, you know, whatever, and you feel in the mood. Of course, it's going to move and stuff like that, you know. Oh, oh, uh. I remember dancing all night, body swinging, swaying till the morning light. So I mean, it's gonna be a little bit of movement, but and, and for me, I don't know. I, I guess I just do it naturally. I've just got like a little, I don't know if you can see here. My 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 arm is just like this. So 
you know, it's pretty stationary. It's not going to go too much on its own. It's not going to do a lot of swinging on its own. So that it's pretty stationary here. It's almost like having a mic stand, you know, for me. Because I'm just like, oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so if you have a lot of questions or something like that about mic technique or something, look, I'm going in and out because I'm not sitting down in my little stationary position. Um, just ask questions. You know, I try to put a little snippet of what I'm thinking about or what I'm working on at the time. And uh, then you can ask more questions if you need it. All right, this is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. Ha, deuces, I'm out of here.